Hey, this is Mr. Perez. Today, we are going to take a look at exponents. But before we get started, we need to get out. Charlie, he better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? Yeah. All right. Let's get started right there. Five times two. Remember, multiplication means repeated addition. So five times two means five plus five, which is 10. Now, we use exponents to represent repeated multiplication. Now, this is five with little two up there. That means 5 times 5, and 5 times 5 is 25. Now, the 5 with little 2 is pronounced 5 raised to the second power, or we can shortcut it and say 5 squared. But the 5 is called the base, and the 2 is called the exponent. And the 2 tells you how many repeated multiplications with that base you need to do. Remember, 5 squared means 5 times 5. If it was 5 raised to the third power, it would be 5 times 5 times 5. Okay, 2 times 4. This is repeated addition. It's 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is 8. Now, 2 raised to the fourth power represents repeated multiplication. There's four 2's being multiplied, and that will give you 16. 3 times 2. Multiplication. Repeated addition. This is 3 plus 3, which is 6. 3 raised to the second power, or 3 squared, is repeated multiplication. That's 3 times 3, and that's 9. Now, what about 3 to the fourth? That's repeated multiplication. That's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, right? Now, we're going to bust out some kung fu, because 3 times 3 is 9, and then 3 times 3 is 9, and what's 9 times 9, Charlie? 81. 81. Very nice there, Charlie. So, 3 raised to the fourth power is 81. Now, what about x to the fifth? Don't get scared. x raised to the fifth power means you have five x's being multiplied. Now, what about the exponent zero? What happens when you raise a base to the power of zero? What happens is you always get one, except for zero to the zero. So let's talk about that. It's a very difficult concept to explain. We can only explain it by looking at patterns. So let's start with a base two number here. 2 to the 4th means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 to the 3rd means 2 times 2 times 2. 2 squared means 2 times 2. 2 to the 1st power means 2. Well, notice in each of these lines, as we move down, we're dividing out a 2. And to get to the 0 power, we divide by 2, we end up with 1. So if we perform these calculations here, 2 to the 4th is 16. 2 cubed is 8. 2 squared is 4. 2 to the 1st power is 2. And 2 to the 0 power appears to be 1. Well, look at the pattern here. We're dividing by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. Let's try this with another base. Let's try a base 3 number. 3 to the 4th means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 cubed, 3 times 3 times 3. 3 squared is 3 times 3. 3 to the 1st is 3. Notice here, we're losing a 3. We're dividing out a 3 in each step. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. Again, we see the 0 power equaling 1. Let's perform our calculations. 3 to the 4th is 81. 3 to the 3rd is 27. 3 squared is 9. 3 to the 1st power is 3. And notice we're dividing by 3. 81 divided by 3 is 27. 27 divided by 3 is 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. Notice as you go down, you divide by 3. Well, it turns out if you do this with any base, you will always get the zero power to equal one. The only one that doesn't work is zero because you cannot divide by zero and therefore you cannot perform this pattern with the zero. So our conclusion is any number raised to the zero power except for zero is equal to one. Don't forget that. Zero to the zero power is actually undefined. Now, let's look at some properties of exponents. If you have two cubed times two to the third, I'm sorry, two squared times two to the third, you have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And notice you have five 2's being multiplied together, so that's 2 to the 5th. Hmm. The shortcut is, you can add those two exponents. 2 plus 3 is 5. Well, what is 2 to the 5th? That's 32, if you perform the calculation. Now, suppose you had x squared times x cubed. Again, here's a little bit of algebra. x squared means x times x, times x cubed, which means x times x times x. Notice we have five x's being multiplied, and how do we represent five x's being multiplied together? We use the exponent. This is x to the fifth. Again, we could have got the answer by simply adding the two exponents together. 
Now don't get that confused with 2x plus 3x. Remember, 2x means 2 times x. That means repeated addition. So 2x actually means x plus x. Plus 3x, which actually means x plus x plus x. And we have 5x is being added together, and we write that as 5x. And that is our answer there. So there's a quick introduction to exponents. That's it for now. We'll see you again soon.